The 2024 track and field season is upon us, and the indoor competitions are already in full swing. In just two weeks since the beginning of the new year, we've witnessed remarkable performances. Dondre Swint of Texas Tech made his 2024 indoor debut, clocking a new world leading time of 6.52 in the 60-meter dash. Parker Valby from Florida breaking the NCAA record in the 5K dominating the field with a time of 14.56. Graham Blanks from Harvard made headlines in December by breaking the NCAA record in the 5,000 meters, finishing with an impressive time of 13 minutes and 3 seconds. As the indoor circuit gains momentum, new names emerge, and familiar faces take on new challenges. Notably, Matthew Bowling participated in the 2024 Clemson Invitational in South Carolina, marking the beginning of his 2024 campaign with the 300 meters. The 300 meters is a distance that demands a unique combination of speed and strength. Historically, it has seen legendary performances from athletes like Steven Gardner, who broke the indoor world record in the event in 2022 with a mind-blowing time of 31.56 seconds. Bowling, known for excelling in the 100 and 200 meters, faces tough competition in his 300-meter debut from both Cameron Rose from Clemson University and Andrian Faust from the United States. While Bowling boasts the fastest 300-meter personal record in the field at 32.4 from 2023, his recent focus on other distances adds an element of challenge to this middle ground race. Given that it's still January, the athletes aren't necessarily aiming for new personal records, but to start the season strongly. The race unfolded with Bowling taking an early lead, displaying his signature lightning-fast start. Rose and Faust were in hot pursuit down the back stretch. However, around the final curve and last 50 meters, Brian Faust surged ahead, leaving Bowling and Rose behind. Faust secured a convincing victory with a time of 32.36 seconds, almost half a second ahead of Bowling at 32.84 seconds and Cameron Rose at 32.93 seconds. Faust's performance now ranks him at number 14 all-time in the men's indoor 300, tying with Frankie Fredericks. While this was just one heat in a series of 300-meter races, it set the stage for an exciting year. Christopher Morales-Williams from UGA also delivered an impressive performance, finishing second overall with a time of 32.47 seconds. Although it wasn't the personal record start bowling had hoped for, the year is long, and with more races, training, and competitive sharpening, we may witness his continued success. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Track Chat International, and until next time, goodbye. Get on track, and stay in your lane.